Have you ever wondered what are the top five things to do in Malta? Today, we're embarking on a virtual tour of this stunning archipelago, nestled in the heart of the Mediterranean. From the historic fortifications of Valletta's Grand Harbour to the sun-soaked beaches of the Blue Lagoon, Malta is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. So without further ado, let's explore the beautiful archipelago of Malta. Our journey begins with a visit to Valletta's Grand Harbour, one of the most iconic spots in Malta. Nestled between two peninsulas, this natural harbour has been a hub of activity for over 2,000 years. It's not just a harbour, it's a testament to Malta's rich history and strategic importance. Imagine huge ships docking, loaded with goods from the farthest corners of the world, while the imposing fortifications stand guard. These fortresses, bastions and towers have withstood the test of time, each stone telling a story of resilience and strength. From the Knights of St. John to the World Wars, they've seen it all. But it's not all about the past. Today, the Grand Harbour is a bustling port with a vibrant mix of yachts, cargo vessels and traditional Maltese boats known as Degajsa, crisscrossing the turquoise waters. And it's not only a sight to behold during the day. As night falls, the harbour transforms into a spectacle of lights, reflecting off the calm waters and creating a mesmerising scene. One of the best ways to experience the harbour is by taking a boat tour. As you glide along the water, you'll get a unique perspective of the fortifications and the cityscape of Valletta, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You'll see the city's famous landmarks, like the Upper Baraka Gardens and St John's Co-Cathedral, from a whole new angle. And don't forget the Grand Harbour Marina. This modern marina, with its luxury yachts and chic restaurants, is a testament to Malta's cosmopolitan side. It's a place where the old meets the new, where history merges with the present. So, whether you're a history enthusiast, a maritime buff, or just someone looking for a scenic spot, Valletta's Grand Harbour has something for you. It's a place that encapsulates the spirit of Malta, its past, its present, and its future. A visit to Malta wouldn't be complete without experiencing the grandeur of Valletta's Harbour. Next up, we have the ancient city of Medina, also known as the Silent City. Stepping into Medina is like stepping into a time capsule. The city's history stretches back over 4,000 years and every stone, every winding alleyway, every ornate doorway has a story to tell. The streets here are a labyrinthine network, narrow and twisting, designed to confuse invaders in times gone by. Today these same streets offer a sense of tranquil solitude, a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of modern life. As you wander through them, you'll stumble upon charming boutiques, quaint cafes and hidden courtyards, each offering its own unique slice of Maltese culture. Nestled within these winding streets, you'll find the imposing Medina Cathedral. This Baroque masterpiece is the jewel in Medina's crown, a testament to the city's religious and architectural heritage. Its grand facade is a sight to behold, while its interior is adorned with intricate frescoes and carvings, an artistic feast for the senses. But the allure of Medina extends beyond its streets and architecture. The city is perched on one of the highest points in Malta, and the views from the city walls are nothing short of breathtaking. Here you can gaze out over the rolling hills and valleys that stretch out towards the horizon, a patchwork quilt of lush greenery and traditional Maltese villages. In the evening, as the sun begins to set, these views take on a whole new level of magic. The golden light bathes the landscape in a warm glow, the perfect backdrop for a romantic stroll or a moment of peaceful reflection. This is the beauty of Medina, a city where the past and the present coexist in perfect harmony. A place where history comes alive and every corner holds a new discovery. The timeless charm of Medina is sure to leave you enchanted. For a taste of paradise, head to the Blue Lagoon on the island of Camino. This is a place that truly lives up to its name, with vibrant shades of blue that paint the landscape in a breathtaking display of natural beauty. The Blue Lagoon, nestled between the island of Camino and the islet of Cominotto, is a haven of tranquility and serenity. The lagoon is a natural pool with crystal clear waters that mirror the sky above, creating a mesmerizing blend of azure and turquoise. It's like stepping into a postcard, where the world around you seems to fade into the background, leaving only you and the captivating beauty of the blue lagoon. The white sandy beaches that line the lagoon provide the perfect contrast to the blue of the water. 
They're just begging you to kick off your shoes, dig your toes in the sand and bask in the warm Mediterranean sun. The beaches are the perfect spot to relax and unwind, where time seems to slow down to match the gentle rhythm of the waves. But the Blue Lagoon is more than just a pretty face. It also offers a wealth of activities for those looking to inject a bit of adventure into their trip. The calm, clear waters make it an ideal location for swimming and snorkeling. The underwater world here is teeming with life, from colourful schools of fish darting around to the occasional sea turtle gliding by. For those who prefer to stay on top of the water, it also offers opportunities for kayaking and paddleboarding. These activities allow you to explore the lagoon at your own pace, taking in the stunning surroundings from a different perspective. So whether you're a water sports enthusiast, a nature lover, or just someone looking for a peaceful place to get away from it all, the Blue Lagoon has something to offer. It's a testament to the natural beauty of Malta and a must-visit location on any trip to the islands. The Blue Lagoon is a slice of heaven on earth. Malta is home to some of the oldest freestanding structures in the world, and the megalithic temples of Hagar Kim and Menajdra are a testament to the island's rich history. These temples, nestled on the southern coast of the island, showcase the architectural prowess and artistic vision of the prehistoric inhabitants of Malta. Dating back to around 3600 to 3200 BCE, they remain a mystery that continues to captivate historians and archaeologists alike. The Temple of Hagar Kim, perched on a hilltop, offers stunning views of the sea and the islet of Filfla. Its facade, made from the largest stones found in any Maltese megalithic temple, is a sight to behold. The temple complex consists of a central building and two additional structures, all intricately designed and laden with symbolism. Just down the hill from Hagar Kim, Menajdra Temple awaits. It's considered one of the most atmospheric and well-preserved of all Maltese temples. Menajdra is unique for its celestial alignment. During the equinoxes, the sun's rays pass directly through the temple's main doorway, illuminating its inner chambers. This astronomical precision suggests that the temple may have served as an early calendar or observatory. Both Hagar Chim and Menajdra are surrounded by a wealth of natural beauty. The rugged landscape dotted with wild thyme and caper bushes is as much a part of the experience as the temples themselves. Yet what makes these temples truly special is the palpable sense of history they evoke. Walking through their ancient doorways, touching the weather-beaten stones and standing in the chambers where ancient rituals once took place, one can't help but feel a deep connection to those who came before us. Exploring these temples is like stepping back in time. It's a journey that not only enlightens us about Malta's past, but also makes us ponder about the human spirit, its creativity, and its enduring quest for understanding the world around us. For all you adventure seekers out there, don't miss the opportunity to dive the wrecks of the HMS Maori and the Umm El Farud. These sunken marvels lie beneath Malta's crystal clear waters, serving as silent memorials to Malta's maritime past. The HMS Maori, a British destroyer that saw action in the Second World War, now rests in the depths of St Elmo Bay. The Umm El Farud, a Libyan oil tanker, met its end in a tragic accident and now lies off the coast of Zuriek. These underwater tombs have been reclaimed by the sea, becoming thriving ecosystems teeming with marine life. From colourful schools of fish darting through the twisted metal to the coral-encrusted surfaces, they offer divers a unique spectacle that merges history and nature. While exploring these submerged relics, one can't help but be awed by the passage of time and the resilience of life. Diving these wrecks is an experience you'll never forget. And there you have it, folks, the top five things to do in Malta. From exploring the iconic Valletta's Grand Harbour, losing yourself in the ancient city of Medina, swimming in the Blue Lagoon, marvelling at the megalithic temples of Hagar Kim and Menajdra, to diving the wrecks of the HMS Maori and the Umm El Farud. Whether you're seeking adventure, history or tranquility, Malta's rich tapestry is waiting to be discovered. If you like this video, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. Check out some of my other videos on screen now, where we are visiting many places around the world. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.